So the next topic is so there is not unit number four. My mistake. It is represented as unit number five. Four. It is unit number five. Development of surfaces. So what is the development of a solid? Suppose this square prism pyramid. What we discussed in projections of solid. All these are made with a instead of a complete solid. If assume all these are made with a thin surface, like box of a toothpaste. Toothpaste box alone don't need, or soap box, or any cotton box, using for the parcel. All those are made for made it well for a yeah? thin surfaces. Those are not the Solid object. Those are not the solid object. Just I am sharing the video. Yes. If you see the video, let us assume this is a square prism. Square prism, or shape of a square prism. Now, when you open this prism, when you open this prism. By cutting at one of the straight edges, what it shows? It shows the complete shape of the surface before its closing. Before its closing. So this is called as the development of a surface. Drawing the shape of the object, shape of the surface by opening it at any one vertical. Edges or if it is a triangle, opening at any slant edge. And now, in this development, there are. Three types: parallel method, radial method, and approximate method. And we are not discussing the approximate method. Parallel line method is useful for the prisms. Why? Because in prisms, all the slant edges are parallel to each other. Is it or not? All the slant edges are parallel to each other in a prism. But in pyramid. If you open the pyramid, all the slant edges these are not parallel. It looks like a radial lines for a circle. So for pyramids, we are going to follow the radial line method. So development of a prism. If you see here, if you open the surface of a prism, we can see four rectangular faces and two bases. And two bases, and in case more and our surface point of view, we are going to develop only the lateral surface. Means we are going to neglect the top base and bottom base. We are going to develop the surface by neglecting its base. Means only the lateral faces. Now this is the parallel line method. First, you have to draw the. Prism in the given position. You have to draw the prism in the given position, and if you open it, draw a line parallelly. X Y line ki parallel ga. Draw the projection. X Y line ki parallel ga project chesi. Construct a rectangle with length equal to the perimeter of this square. Length equal to the perimeter of this square, and height equal to height of the axis. So construct chesi in darvata. Taking the distance equal to AB, means side length is coming. A as center, R cut just B. B as center, R. C as center, R. D as center, R. We'll get the four points, and passing through these four points, we're going to draw the parallel lines. So that's why it is called as a parallel line method. When you open a prism, we'll get 
these parallel lines. So that's why it is represented as a parallel line method. So if it is a pyramid, see how all these lines are looking. All these lines are looking, they are joining towards go. So like a radial lines. Radial lines means the lines coming from the center of a circle to the circumference. So that's why we'll name it as a radial line method, development of a pyramid. So this is the procedure for drawing a radial line method. Here we have to identify the true length of the true slant g length. So first draw the projection as per the given dimension. Next, Kennedy, we have completed this projection based on the axis length. So DO, BO, CO, AO are not the other true lengths. Is it or not? AO, BO, CO, DO, what you are seeing here are not the true slant length. So true slant length Kavali and A, as we did for the projection of a tetrahedron, projection of a tetrahedron JSON, who rotated one of the slant edge parallel to x y Similarly, AO edge rotate up to a parallel line to x y line. Mark this point as A1. A1 the pike project JC. And if we join OA, this is the true slant length. So true slant length which is the OA center, OA radius to who will draw an R with OA center and OA radius we will draw an R. Now taking the distance equal to AB, A S center if you draw an R will get B. B S center R will get C, C S center the R D. DS center R will get point A. Join A O B O C O D O, the radial lines. So this is the radial line method. So for prisms and cylinders again, these are called as the lateral faces, lateral surfaces, and these are the end face. So lateral faces development is much. Note on this problem, draw the development of lateral surfaces of a right square prism of edge of base 30 mm and axis 50 mm long and axis 50 mm long. So first step is you have to just wait for a while and changing the position. So the development of lateral surfaces of a right square prism. The position or orientation of the prism is not given. The position or orientation of the prism is not given. And most of the cases they won't give the position and orientation of the prism. So default, what we have to take is the solid object resting with its axis perpendicular to horizontal plane and parallel to vertical plane. So the axis perpendicular to horizontal plane and parallel to vertical plane. Top view is drawn below x y line. So it is a square prism. So first draw the top view of the square. The corners as A. B, C, D, as it is a prism, four corners on top and four corners on the bottom. 
E F G and H also identify the axis point by joining the diagonals with thin two edge pencil. Now project each and every point. Assuming it as resting on its base of x y line. Complete the construction of square prism. What are the points? A, B, C, D are on the top corner. A dash, B dash, C dash. E dash, E of G H are on the bottom corners. E dash, F dash, G dash, H dash are on the bottom corner. So as you see in this direction, B, F are visible, C, G are visible, A, E are hiding, D, H are hiding. Now, drawing the development of the lateral surface, clearly given the development of lateral surface means no need of showing its end faces or bases. No need to show its end faces or bases. So what you have to do is measure the perimeter. What is the perimeter? What is the side length? Side length is 30 mm given. So 30 into 4, 120 mm. So, with 120 mm length, draw a horizontal line along this base. Maintain the relation. Why? Because it is helpful for us for next level problems. Next, construct a rectangle with height equal to axis height, length equal to perimeter of the prism, 120 mm. One twenty mm, and height equal to axis height. Now, default first position we take it as A. So let this be. And remember, we should represent them with capital letters. First edge, A. You are splitting this prism. Based on the corner A E with ES center or AS center and 30 mm radius. Draw an arc. Name this point as B. B S center, draw an arc. Name it as C. C S center, draw an arc. We we'll get point D. Project draw a perpendicular lines from this or a parallel line to each other. These are the points E, F, G, H. What about the last one? When you are opening a pyramid prism means you are getting 1, 2, 3, 4 rectangular faces. 1, 2, 3, 4 rectangular faces. First face, A, B, second face, B, C, third face, C, D, what about the fourth face? D A. So again, we will get repetition. A E. The first edge A E will be we are getting twice. Represented as A E. So do you have any doubts in this? Is it clear or still any of having doubts? Development of lateral surface of a square prism. Remember, 
will get it for two or three marks personally when the object is in simple position essay type means for 12 marks question means will get the solid object along with the section plane along with the section plane and again i am now the next problem i am sharing the screen or i am typing it in the chat box better i will type the problem in chat box the chat box problem number 2 so sheet number remember this is not sheet number 12 or 13 is sheet number 14 for this name it as sheet number 14 after completion of sheet number 14 i will explain sheet number 12 and 13 okay as so directly move on to 50 unit name the sheet as sheet number 14 12 and 13 are from unit 4 now coming to this problem draw the development of a complete surface of a cylindrical drum diameter is 40 mm and height 60 mm diameter 40 mm and height 60 mm So first, draw the cylinder in the initial position. That is, drawing x y line. Circle in the top view. A B C D. E F G H. by drawing the axis now if you open a cylinder for complete completely what is what is the length of the surface you are getting any of you if you open the cylinder completely what is the length you are getting any of you id sir hmm what is the circumference of this uh, circle pi d pi d so here the diameter value is given as 40 m so 40 into pi calculate it calculate the value 40 into pi and as per the length so when you open the cylinder completely it simply gives a plane surface with length equal to pi d height equal to axis height so represent this dimension pi into 40 i'm not writing the value you can put this value at at the value and what are these points a dash 
B dash, C dash, D dash, E, F, G, and H. So as you are opening from A, let this be A, G. E. Final also, A, G. E. As you are dividing the complete circle into four divisions. As you divided the circle into four divisions, divide this into four parts. Actually, for the simple circle, even no need to show. If you want to show this, divide this complete line length AE into four parts. Represent as B, C, D. F, G, H. So, but remember, draw these lines B, F, C, G, and D, H with two H pencil. Why? Because in a circle, all these are the imaginary lines. There doesn't exist any edges or lines in between. As these three are only imaginary lines, draw F, B, G, C, and H, D with two H pencil. So I am concluding this class with this. Next class we will discuss the prisms with a cutting plane. So in these two problems, just to discuss the prism without any cutting plane or section plane. So next class we are going to discuss the prisms with a section plane.